All right, guys, we're going to give you a quick uh, comparison between the LG Optimus G on the left and the Samsung Galaxy S4 on the right. First thing you notice is the Optimus G is a larger device. It's got that 5.2 inch 1080p display with a 423 PPI. The Galaxy S4 is a 5 inch display um, with about 300 and something PPI. Now, clear differences from the front facing of, of the device is that the Optimus G doesn't have any physical buttons on the front of the device. S4 does have physical buttons on the front um, and you can see uh, both are running versions of Android but they're running their own overlays on there. LG has the intuitive overlay, Samsung has of course TouchWiz which we know and love quite well. Two megapixel front facing cameras for both devices. It's got a kind of similar design but LG has that edge to edge um, screen display. Now looking at the sides, the, the power buttons on the side for the S4 as well as on the other side you do have the camera rocker while the LG Optimus G2 has no buttons on the sides. At the back of the device you do see the um, camera button as well as the volume rocker on the Optimus uh, G2 with that 13 megapixel camera with um, OIS optical image stabilization LED flash while of course the S4 has a 30 megapixel camera without OIS and LED flash in there. Now uh, you can see uh, uh, LG's design is also quite thin um, overall, very slim, but we, we'll spend some time with it. Now, both, of course, run Snapdragon processors, but the S4 has uh, the, S, the Snapdragon S4 Pro, which is um, uh, clocks lower, while the LG Optimus G2 runs the Snapdragon um, 800 processor clocked at 2.26 megahertz. Um, so we'll spend some time with both devices uh, and give you our full thoughts to see which is better when we do our battle videos. Till then, thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.